Yo, what's good? Big Z here, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make this. So the track is called Grapevine by Tiesto, and it's called Grapevine because the vocal sample in the track is from an old Marvin Gaye track called I Heard It Through the Grapevine. But anyway, all the serum patches and stuff will be linked down below. Let's jump right into how I remade it. So the bass is really that Brazilian bass kind of sound that's becoming really popular lately, and it consists of four layers. Here's what they sound like all together. So I'm going to go through each layer and show you guys how to get that Brazilian bass sound. So here's the first layer, it's kind of like a mid bass. Here's what it sounds like by itself. So this one is a really standard bass sound just to kind of fill up the low mids. The wavetable I used on this one is an Evil Long Grease wavetable, which is in the digital section right here. Uh, it's just one voice of unison because you want it to be right in the middle of the mix. I've got this envelope that's opening up the cutoff on this low pass filter, and it's also affecting the level on this ARP circuit sound. And here's what that sound sounds like by itself. So it's just adding some attack and grittiness to the original wavetable. In the effects section, all I have is some diode to distortion and some compression on there as well. As for external effects, I'm using the CLA bass plugin to add more compression, um, increasing the high end a little bit with this EQ right here, and I'm adding some chorus as well. Then I have some EQ on there that's just making room for the sub bass. Next up is this attack bass where a lot of the character of the sound is coming from. And how I made that was with this FM splat wavetable and that is in the digital section down here and I'm putting four voices of unison on that and detuning it a little bit and then I have this envelope that's a little shorter than the envelope on the other bass because I want this to be pluckier sounding and to make it even pluckier I'm also using this envelope to control the level of the noise oscillator over here which is this kick transient layer here's what that noise oscillator sounds like So it's just adding attack and punch to the sound. Over in the effects section, I've got some distortion and some compression, and this filter really isn't doing anything. Then I have some similar external processing on this bass, just some more compression and some growl distortion with the CLA bass plugin, and then I'm just making room for the sub bass with an EQ after that. So here's what the first two layers sound like so far. Now I'm going to add in this third layer that's really adding some white noise and some high end to the frequency spectrum. So without it, with it. And how I made this layer is just a saw wave in Serum, three voices unison, detuned a little bit. I've got a similar shaped envelope to the last bass that's controlling the cutoff of the filter. And I'm using this ARP circuit noise as the white noise for the sound. Over in the effects section, I just have some distortion, compression, and this filter on there. And then the external effects, I also have the CLA bass plugin again, doing the same thing, except this time, I used a different type of distortion on there, the roar distortion, and then the EQ on this one is cutting off everything below 300 hertz to not only make room for the sub, but also the other bases as well. Last up is this distorted sub layer. And the reason it sounds so cool is because of the bit crusher on there, but it's really just this uh, pulse wave 
from the basic shapes wavetable. And um, I've got this envelope here affecting the cutoff of the filter. In the effects section, all I have is some distortion. And then I have a filter that's adding a little drive too down here. But then in the external processing, I'm adding some bit crusher that gives it a cool character. And I just wanted a subtle effect on there. So a common thing to do in these Brazilian bass type songs is add a kick sample to layer to the basses. So I've got this second kick sample down here that's playing at the exact same time as a lot of the bass hits. And what I'm doing is cutting out the very low end just to make room for the normal kick. And the normal kick and this kick are never playing at the exact same time. Now add the basses in and it just adds a lot of punch to the bass. So it just adds a really cool rhythm and punch to the track. Other than that, it's really just these vocal samples that I just got from the original acapella that I downloaded online. Alright, that's pretty much it for this one. I'll play the whole track again at the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Spotify below. Other than that, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. I'm mine, I'm mine, I'm mine.